So yes, May 10th town meeting. Um, the the, the slideshow that I've got there has a QR code, which is brand new. We've never used QR codes for town meeting before. Why not? Uh, I credit uh, Mike Barbieri, who's the, the assistant to the town manager, with coming up with this idea of um, being able to share the links to the warrant via this QR code. So if you head to that, you will get this, but in a much more readable format. You'll also get some videos about different articles, some explainers about town meeting, uh, and more reports. I mean, it's chock full of information. So we're trying to make sure that folks understand what their local government is and what they can do with it. And so I'll share a little bit about the May 10th town meeting at the high school, back to the gym. Um, very happy about that. Uh, the roles of town meeting, it's not just one thing, it's many things. Uh, and discussions of the basics. So for many of you in the room, this is old hat, but for anybody listening at home, this may be some, some new information. Uh, finally, talking about electronic voting and ways people can participate. And advance the slide, please. So town meeting is a learning Place. It's a place where people can learn about issues more deeply. They learn about how their neighbors feel about issues, how uh, the, the elected and appointed officials feel about issues. They bring their stories. They bring the pros, their cons. They, they learn more deeply about how the community feels about a given issue. But we're, we're doing some policy making and budget determining. So whether or not there's new computers, whether the budget is approved or not, rests with town meeting. But I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the communal function. There's a really important notion of coming together in person to be with one another and recognize the good things that we're doing in our community. And the picture there is of um, the late James Russell receiving an award. And I'll never forget the feeling that I had when I took that picture because you know he just generated so much warmth from the community. And that's one thing that we do at town meeting at the very start, is we have a, an awards ceremony for whether Citizen of the Year or the Cliff Zundell Award. Um, but it does bring people together. And so various roles, but yes, it's a direct democracy, which leads to the next slide, please. And in a direct democracy, citizens are the local legislature. If you're registered to vote in Longmeadow, you're a legislator. And what that means is you, you can make proposals to town meeting. You can weigh the pros and cons. You can decide issues. You could amend if you wanted to, and, but ultimately you vote. So the budget does not get approved unless citizens vote for it. Nothing gets approved <laughs> unless the <laughs> citizens vote for it, whether it's zoning bylaws or general bylaws, capital projects, what have you. So while the elected and the appointed folks, like you all, have prominent places, you all have, we haven't had the, the, the traditional town meeting in a while. But you may remember that the, there's a, a spot for the select board, a spot for the finance committee, and then a spot for the school committee right up front. And I welcome you to, to take that wonderful place in the front. Um, looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, it's, it's important for, for citizens to be able to, to face their elected and appointed officials. Um, and you'll be making recommendations to town meeting as will the finance committee. Next slide, please. So in the warrant, which the word warrant is, comes from the word warning. Like here's a warning, here's an advance warning of what's going to be discussed. And that warrant calls people to town meetings. So it's delivered to everyone's home. Whether you receive the reminder regularly or not, you get the, the warrant. If for some reason you mowed over it or something, or it rained and you damaged it, go to uh, longmeadow.org slash town meeting and you'll find it. Uh, the warrant gives a list of what's going to be discussed. Give me the, I think the next slide, please. And within this, you'll see a lot of information. You'll see, say for example, article one, to see if the town will vote to choose thrust three trustees to administer the William Goldthwaite bequest. 
or take any other a a action relative thereto, a bunch of kind of hedging language. So that's the article. We vote on each item in turn, but we're not actually voting on the article, we're voting on a motion. So somebody will stand and say, I move that we choose thrust three trustees, and they name them. And it's that motion that can differ very slightly from the article itself that we vote on. And so because there can be some slight difference, and because motions can be amended, we cannot do anything like absentee ballots because town meeting decides exactly what we're going to be voting on. The article gives the general overview, the motion gives the specific proposal, and then it may be amended. So that's what we're voting on is the motion. Next slide, please. So you, as citizens, can participate by volunteering at town meeting by signing, creating a petition, uh, through collaborating with boards and committees on a proposal that's of interest to you, through speaking in favor, or opposed, or um, asking a question. And there are three microphones that we've come to rely on to, to make things a little bit easier to keep track of things. One is red for those opposed to a motion, one is green for those in support or in favor, and one is yellow, in case you like, slow down, I want to ask some questions. You can ask those questions or you can make a motion. And then ultimately we vote. And this is where things get interesting. This year, we're doing something different. Uh, uh, several years ago, when I became moderator, people would ask me, can we, can we vote, vote by ballot? even at town meeting, and we have on some, some hot button issues, some issues in which neighbor were fighting neighbor, and people didn't want to share their, their vote with their neighbor, lest the, the community bond get rendered. And so we did some votes by ballot, but that takes an awful long time. And if we tried to do that in an annual town meeting warrant, or, uh, warrant annual town meeting rather, it takes up an awful long time. And so I've spoken with uh, the Massachusetts Moderators Association, uh, an organization this year I'm, I'm pleased to say I'm president of. And I learned that there are over 70 communities throughout Massachusetts that use clicker devices or electronic voting. And so I thought, well, let's, let's form a committee. I had the rules committee look into it for several years and then uh, they suggested a task force be devoted to you know, get into it a little bit more deeply. This task force was created. I didn't know exactly how I felt about it, quite frankly, and I made no opinions on it whatsoever, much to their frustration. They just wanted me to say, just do this. And I, I had my hands off deliberately. I was not a part of this committee. I listened. And they recommended that we go with this particular system, the Meridia system which is used in half of those towns that use electronic voting. It is not internet-based. It is an encrypted system. There's a radio frequency that it uses. And if you go beyond that radio frequency, you, there's, and you don't have the particular device, you can't vote with that. If you'd like to read the task force's report, you can go to longmeadow.org slash electronic voting. And I wanted to share with you I don't think I have it on the next slide. Actually, could you go to the next slide, please? Yeah, there we go. This, this is what it'll look like. So when you go in to uh, register to vote, or not register to vote, when you go into the, the clerk staff, you'll be asked to give your name, your address, like you normally do. And I don't know if any of you voted today, but I voted today and got a little receipt. They'll give you a little receipt, your ticket out. They will also give you this baggie. Now mine says 1307. This was helped filled by volunteers on uh, April 20th. In this baggie, well, you actually, you'll get this baggie, you'll go to the gym door, They'll, somebody will say, do you have your receipt? Yes, take the receipt. Does your clicker number, 1307, match the bag? Yes, it does. And then you'll be allowed entry to the <coughs> meeting. There is an electronic voting instruction card. Two-sided, the font's pretty good. 
I probably should still use my reading glasses. I'm not sure. So, arriving, you'll be asked to put this lanyard on. It's bright green, so you will not lose it whatsoever. And I'm going to be handing this out to you all. Um, what I'd like to tell you about is how this works. You'll see on the on the clicker it says green, red, and yellow, and then two other white buttons. The green is 1A, the red is 2B, the 3 says 3C, then 4D and 5E. Really, the only two buttons we're using are 1 and 2. You vote 1 for yes, 2 for no. It's very simple. 3 says uh, abs. It's it's abstain, not abs. No matter how many times you click it, there's <laughs> not an instant abs button. So I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Bad jokes abound. Um, get used to that. And so when that comes up, you'll see on the screen, we'll have screens at town meeting. They'll say the total vote of whatever has come through. So if there's three yeses, that'll show that. If there's three noes, that'll show that. It'll be a tie. If you don't vote, you don't vote. It doesn't get put in. Now, voting has to occur when I say voting is now open. You'll have 15 seconds to vote. And on the screen of the device, let's see. Uh, it's not on now, obviously, but it'll say one and then a little OK if you pressed button number one. Or it'll say two with an OK up at the top left of the screen. Now let's say you wanted to vote yes, but you accidentally voted no. If it's within that 15 seconds, you can change your mind. You can go back and forth as many times as you want, but 15 seconds is up. Whatever you entered last, when I say voting is now closed, that's the vote that gets recorded. If you try to vote before I say voting is open, You'll get a letter A if you press 1, and a letter B if you press 2. That's not a vote. You have to see a 1 or a 2. Really excited about this new system. It's very simple. We will be doing some test runs with some softball votes that don't count at the start, just to get everybody in the swing of things. Thank you, Rebecca. Sure. Um, this is great. And, and that's it's going to be an amazing advance for town meeting so thank you and the the task force for making that happen